as we get into the crucible, there's a couple things that we do need to consider. Uh, we've, we've been looking at the Puritan style of writing with Bradstreet, Rollinson, and finally Bradford, and we've, we've been looking at the, the writing style without knowing a whole lot of background about the mindset of the Puritans. Um, we just went through a little bit of a change getting into the fire and brimstone sermon, looking at, at Jonathan Edwards, um, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, and how we see that there was there was a, a big falling out with the, the religious faith. A lot of hypocrisy going on, if you will. So, in order to kind of help out with the mindset of the Puritans and kind of put a perspective into things, we're going to look at the, the Crucible. Now, it's a play. It's about the Puritans, and I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Salem Witch Trials. Uh, it happened. The setting is during those witch trials, but it's also a time period when the Puritans are having trouble they're they're falling out of faith and the 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 church is trying to figure out what to do about that um, we're also on the verge of coming into the the rationalism period where as we've discussed earlier the rationalism is more of a logical analytical approach to things almost a more scientific approach if you will so with that said we have we have the superstitious religious times going on the puritans Fear of the unknown, anything that is unknown is interpreted as evil or sinful. Um, kind of segueing into the scientific kind of mindset. So as we go through the, the crucible, we'll be able to get an, a kind of a, some insight into the Puritans. Now I do want you to keep in mind that the crucible itself, the, the play, was written in the 1950s and would be considered uh, a modernism writing. Uh, there, there are some things that we can discuss when we get to modernism that reflect back on the crucible and some things that, that uh, Arthur Miller was trying to do um, by going back to the Salem Witch Trials and some things that he was trying to kind of associate of uh, the 1950s time period. He was trying to link back to what was going on in the Salem Witch Trials. So it was actually a political statement for Arthur Miller to write that. Uh, we are just going to solely focus on the Puritans and get a little insight into who they are Look at the relationships um, as you read through. Make sure you lock in the characters, how the characters are re related or associated with other characters. I need you to also get a good mindset of, of the superstitions, um, the way the, the people acted, interacted, and kind of get as good a grasp of the Puritan mindset as you can. And then, of course, um, for t this evening, you guys are going to go through and you're going to look at chapter, uh, I'm sorry, Act 1, and then... We'll talk about that next class, and we'll kind of connect the dots. We'll talk about the character relationships and associations, and we'll start we'll start kind of filling in the gaps, and then making comparisons to the writing styles of, of uh, Bradford, Bradstreet, and Rollinson, and how that Puritan characteristic may have affected their writing, or maybe how their writing more so reflected those Puritan ideals.